Today we actually have a question from Jane in Milwaukee. I am returning to work after 10 years at home with my children. I am an electrical engineer with a strong resume that I've submitted to 150 different online postings. Ooh, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And I haven't gotten one response. Yikes. I know. Okay. Yeah, it can be so defeating. Mm -hmm. So defeating. I don't think I'm using the best search engines. Which ones do you recommend? Oh, this is a Susan question. This is a Susan question. I'm not sure Jane's going to quite appreciate my answer because, Jane, I can't recommend a search engine because I really can't recommend that search engines are where you look. The best search engine is your own brain and your own feet. Let me just share a sobering statistic with you. Only 30% of Americans landed their professional job via an online search. I would venture to say that for women like you and for all of our constituents who have some employment gaps and might have some skill deficiencies, that it might only be 10%. 10%. So your efforts have to reflect that reality. And that means you got to hit the street mm -hmm. and start networking. So you're going to begin first with your old colleagues, your employers, your bosses, your clients, even people who worked for you, and start working your way into a knowledge base of who's hiring, what kinds of industries are expanding, how might my skills be marketable today. Mm -hmm. You want to expand into your current network, which is volunteers on Side boards, lines of the soccer absolutely, team, bus soccer stop games. companions, mm -hmm. um, absolutely. And start talking to friends and neighbors. Tell people what you do, what you can do, mm -hmm. what you're looking to do, mm -hmm. and let them help you formulate a strategy. Find out from them what companies hiring, what managers they know that might be willing to talk to you, that might have some influence in the marketplace, and move on from there. How about the search engine? It can be a tool, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. So in our course, we don't, we don't recommend that you avoid them completely. Actually, we suggest that you use them as a research tool. So mm -hmm. hopping online and looking at who's hiring, mm -hmm. who's expanding, what types of job skills and requirements are there for the job that I might think I'm suited for? Because you may find out that you have some skill deficiencies that you need to overcome. Mm -hmm. So best way to look at it is search engine as a tool. And to make sure that your search is dictated by this mathematical reality that you have a 10% shot of getting your job online mm -hmm. and a 90% shot of getting that job via networking. And you know, networking can feel overwhelming. Sometimes mm -hmm. we feel like it's not really organic and it kind of feels, you know, manipulated in some way. And one of the best parts of what Susan does in our online course is she actually makes it something that feels really organic and really true to who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. um, we have we've actually dedicated some, a significant amount of time to networking and it can really be a skill that is taught that does not feel fake or phony or, in, or not authentic. Absolutely. So we hope you'll sign up for our mailing list and get in the queue for registration for the course. Thank you.